What is going on guys today? We are looking at Inform Mertens. Now this is an interesting one. We've got an 86 Inform. He's already got an 87 Rule Breaker from the very, very start of the game. But then he's also got a 91 What If card. And I understand that Informs have to follow suit. They have to follow the rating and, and this is literally his first. But what is the point in this card? Literally... If you wanted to go get this card, he currently at the moment, obviously no rewards are out, is 185k on the Xbox. His rule breaker is 183k and is one rating higher with six uh, shooting increase, one pa uh, pace, minus six dribbling, but then plus two on the physical. So for me, I, I think it's quite an easy one to go for the, the center forward rule breaker. Obviously, if you do get this one in red or you do get him untradeable, then fair enough. He's a nice, well-rounded card. Again, a small player, 5-7 with the 4-4. And obviously, in terms of traits, we have got finesse shot, flair, and outside of the foot shot. So personally, them three are my favorite for a striker. I feel like it just adds that next level of element towards this guy as a very, very good striker. I really enjoyed his wife card, but that one is coming in at 700k. So obviously, that one is miles, miles better than, than this version. But that is then an extra, what? 500k you've got to find in terms of tradable uh, coins sorry because obviously it's not an SBC and obviously you can't grind towards it in a pack in terms of the stats then dribbling balance incredible we've got great pace on him shooting's very good obviously we're looking to, to kind of max that out passing wise again pretty average for a striker it's not terrible stamina on the lower side that's where my problem lies with him and I think did they sort that out in the rule breaker one uh, 76 composure geez the rule breaker does have 76 composure which is shocking but in terms of stamina 78 and then the what if has 84 so realistically the what if is the option for one any debate but again like i say the cost does kind of cover that in terms of kind of like this card the pros pace Shooting obviously will be upgraded with a hunter. You'd then end up having 96 pace, 90 shooting. Um, then obviously passing's average. Dribbling's quite nice, decent. 82 composure, not the greatest, but definitely doable at this point. And then the stamina is the big, big negative for me. But let's jump into it, see what Mertens can do, and hopefully we get him in a red pick. Mertens already find himself through. Oh my, how on earth did he miss that? 82 composure coming in good there. <laughs> Mertens again, across goal, and he makes up for it in literally seconds. That's the Mertens I know. Into Mertens, he's finding himself through. Oh, he's got big boy. Who's that Gomez? Informed Gomez hitting him like an absolute train. From player to player, little drags everywhere. Go with the one-two from Mertens. Can we see him through? Not quite all the way. Gets it back into Mertens. Goes for the finesse, and it's a lovely partnership goal there. And I think we've got a rage quit. Little dink into Mertens. Little volley. Oh, that's a great block from Fabinho. Honestly, Mertens is going to be lovely to try and pick in them sort of scenarios. He seems very agile to get the ball in. Honestly, so far, so good with him. Managed to score a couple of goals so far. And obviously, he has done relatively decent work, to be honest with you. Mertens... Oh, Mertens is going to nick that past Virgil. The question is, what do you do with it? Literally, we've got so many people in the box. We literally can't find an opening. Finds him Mertens, and there we go. Mistake made from him, and Mertens manages to capitalize once more, proving that he is a good striker. Again, another one in team of the season that would, would and will be fantastic. Gnabry into Mertens. Going to find that finesse. Big boy Virgil is going to be in the way once more. So we're going into the overall four Mertens then. Honestly, lovely card. Gets the goals. Managing to do the business. Stamina-wise, towards the end of the game, you do find him uh, not necessarily disappear totally, but he doesn't quite get the same output as right from the off. Right from the off, very quick, lovely acceleration. And then, like I say, it slowly takes his toll with him. I would be using him if he is a first-team player. I'd be using him as a rotation player, someone where the sub does come in. But I do believe 
obviously this card is nice but the 91 is always going to be fantastic it has been upgraded i want to say it's been upgraded today as well so he has got a 91 as you can see on the screen he's got an 87 rule breaker yes you could argue that six defending compared to six shooting is a little bit better but i'd say to be honest either one of them is going to be nice but it's this card that you definitely want to be saving up for but if you can't afford it and obviously if you get them in a red pick i definitely wouldn't be discouraged by this card to be honest there is a lot of good kind of like forward players now in the Serie A. obviously ronaldo being the big boy on campus dybala's sbc a mobiles uh, i want to say he had an sp i think that was an sbc as well you obviously got caputo who is a objective another great objective there um you've got loads of uh, martinez a mobile with another version lukaku with a few mkhitaryan as well another great headliner card that potentially could go up and other than that we're starting to go down a little bit more rebic's not awful to be honest he's not terrible but in terms of kind of like comparison to mertens maybe kind of on the same sort of par but in different aspects mertens is kind of like that dribble player someone who's going to be quite small dinking in and outside of the box he won't really win you a header but definitely on the floor he can really play some game overall wise I'm going to give Mertens an 8.2 for this version. I feel like it's good, but there is so many cards out there now that you're going to have we're going to have to be getting a bit harsh with these team of the weeks because especially this week it isn't fantastic. Like we are clutching at straws like if I was really being honest, not one single one gets into my team, like even close. Benzema's obviously got a crack in another version. Gnabry's a nice one, but again, I've got Coleman Diaby. It's just not going to happen. Marquinhos would get potentially into the centre back role of a league on side, but we've already got um, the we've already got Voland, we've already got Kashelny's flashback, and we've also got rule breaker Denea. So again, do we need him? This is the big one. So other than that, literally no one else gets into the team. Ronaldo's obviously in my Serie A team. This is the problem we're getting. So we are going to be harsh with ratings. He is a nice player and I cannot wait to find a team of the season or at least maybe like a flashback team of the season like last year. That will be fantastic for him. Other than that, we'll see how he goes. He's already had a fantastic career with plenty of special cards within this game. So hopefully we do see him back on it. Third in, third special card this year, nine point, uh, 8.2. Let me know down below what you think. And if you did get him in a red, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.